Hey everyone, this video is going to be about the backhand countertop spin. This stroke is really important in matches because every single backhand rally, you want to be able to get the advantage and win it from your backhand, or if not, um, set up for a forehand kill. So in order to get to a higher level, you need to master this technique. But I'm going to break it down into three major components, which are position, uh, stroke motion, and stroke timing. And then I'll offer some drills at the end for improving on your own. All right, first for positioning, the paddle should be in front of your stomach or your chest, depending on how tall the ball is or how tall you are. And you need to hit the ball in front of your body and don't reach out too much. So that would look like this playing backhand, right? Like this, this is when your arm is too far away from your body, you'll lose control and you won't be able to put any power or spin on the ball. But you also don't want your paddle too close to your body to where you're playing it like right here. Um, this also means that you have too much tension because your arm is contracted uncomfortably. So the ideal position is to be right in front of your center of mass. So if your center of mass is right here, then you wanna play the ball in this comfortable sweet spot that's slightly in front of the center of mass. So you want your elbows to be relaxed at all times uh, when you're preparing for the stroke. But as you hit the ball, you need to snap your elbow. And I'll talk about that more in the stroke part of this uh, video. Make sure your elbows are close to your body. Uh, it doesn't need to be glued to your side like this, but it needs to be relatively close um, this way and also this way from your body so that you can have this comfortable striking zone. The ideal position is also right in front of your body. Just like where your paddle should be right in front of your body, uh, your elbow should also be slightly in front as well. You also don't want your elbow to be too far sideways or too far up like this. A lot of people make the mistake of playing backhand this way or backhand like this. Um, that's not good either because you build a lot of tension in your shoulder. So you're gonna wanna hit the ball with your elbows here and the, the paddle in front of your stomach. So the stroke looks kind of like this. Here is an example of my friend Eden and I practicing our backhands. You'll notice that Eden and I both hit the ball in front of our stomach and we don't reach out too far in front like I was saying earlier and we don't um, play too close either. We play it right here where it should be in front and our elbows are relaxed and not out or up. So we play just like this. And you can see in the video that this creates um, a good topspin ball with good accuracy and good arc. Also make sure that your center of mass is forward. You'll see that we both are leaning slightly on the balls of our feet and our center of mass is in front of our stomachs. That way we can play the ball right there. Next, let's talk about the stroke motion. So you don't wanna to go too much upward. You wanna go, it's okay to go slightly lower to slightly higher, but you want to be mostly going forward and out. So a common mistake is for people to play backhand like this, but you actually want to play the backhand from your chest or from your stomach and just play it over the ball and outward. So another thing is that we use our elbow as our pivot when we do backhand. So this way, the ball, it looks kind of like this, okay? And then you also need to rotate your hips. This is something that's uh, commonly forgotten or commonly not done in the backhand loop. Uh, but if you want to generate power or generate more speed, good waist rotation and snap of your elbow at the same time as you rotate your abs and your hip these will generate way more power. That's how Fan Zhendong and Liang Jingkun, all these famous backhand monsters can do that. They're not just using their hand to play. That's a uh, pity pat backhand. If you want a really powerful backhand, you need to engage your body. At the beginning, make sure not to use too much wrist. Many beginners try to engage their wrist too early and they don't have control of it yet. So their timing is either too late or too early, or they drag a lot of side spin onto the ball in different directions because they don't know how to control the acceleration yet. So at the beginning, try to use mostly your elbow 
and start with your paddle angle open and close it off at the end. Play over the ball and finish with your paddle in front of your chest and not too far sideways. So a lot of players will go like this, okay? But you want the ball to be here, right in front of your chest. Let's go take a look at Eden and I playing again. You'll notice that Eden and I both use our core to stabilize the ball and we play the ball forward and out and we snap from the elbow over the ball for topspin. A common reason that people play the ball too far out sideways or too far this way is because they're not moving their body to be behind the ball when they play backhand. So that causes you to reach and play only with your hand, which creates inconsistency. Here is a clip of my friend Joy showing us her excellent timing of acceleration. How early or late you take the ball off the bounce is not so important because that depends on how tall you are or how your preference is and when you like to hit the ball. But the timing of acceleration, that short window, is what matters the most. So you need to be relaxed during your preparation and then you snap and accelerate your hips, your abs, and your forearm upon contact. And later on, you can add in some wrist that creates the extra spin, but I don't suggest doing that if you're a beginner. Joy has excellent timing and acceleration of her abs, her elbow, her hand, all of it goes directly at the same time, creating good spin and pace on the ball, which is what allows her to play such consistency and such quality. Getting the feeling and touch for backhand is very difficult, but there are a few drills you can do to get to that level. So one is where you let the looper on backhand play a lot of countertop spins with good quality, and then you'll let the other person playing backhand to just block. Uh, don't do anything with the ball, just put it back on the table so that the person generating all the spin can keep doing it consistently. And then you do it for a little bit and you switch. So both players can get used to both blocking and looping. And then, once you both have a good understanding of this kind of feeling, then you can start to play backhand topspins towards each other at the same time. This is much more difficult and can come like further in the future, but that's the goal that you want to go towards. Another drill is to let somebody loop really hard into your backhand, either with their backhand or with their forehand, and that helps you understand how to do a backhand counter onto heavier, more powerful shots, as well as just the regular, um, weaker ones. <laughs>